Unit 8, Lesson 11, Deviation from the Mean. Number 1. Han recorded the number of pages that he read each day for 5 days. The dot plot shows his data. A. Is 30 pages a good estimate of the mean number of pages that Han read each day? Explain your reasoning. No, 30 is not a good estimate. It does not balance the other values. B. Find the mean number of pages that Han read during the five days. Draw a triangle to mark the mean on the dot plot. After adding up all the number of pages that he read each day and dividing it by five, I got 32 and 6 tenths. So the mean is 32 and 6 tenths pages. And here's the triangle that I put on the dot plot representing the mean. C. Use the dot plot and the mean to complete the table. 25 pages is 7 and 6 tenths pages from the mean to the left. 28 pages is 4 and 6 tenths pages from the mean to the left. 32 pages is 6 tenths from the mean to the left. 36 pages is 3 and 4 tenths pages from the mean to the right. And 42 pages is 9 and 4 tenths pages from the mean to the right. D. Calculate the mean absolute deviation, or the MAD, of the data. Explain or show your reasoning. First, add up all five of the distances from the mean. Once you've added up all five of the distances from the mean, then you divide that total by five. The mean absolute deviation, or the MAD, for these five pieces of data is 5 and 2 tenths. Number 2. 10 6th grade students recorded the amounts of time each took to travel to school. The dot plot shows their travel times. The mean travel time for these students is approximately 9 minutes. The MAD is approximately 4 and 2 tenths minutes. A. Which number of minutes? 9 or four and two tenths is a typical amount of time for the 10 sixth grade students to travel to school. Explain your reasoning. The balance time is near nine, so nine is a good description for a typical time from this set of data. B, based on the mean and MAD, Jada believes that travel times between five and 13 minutes are common for this group. Do you agree? Explain your reasoning. The travel times must be between 5 and 13 minutes because the MAD shows that on average travel times are 4 and 2 tenths minutes below the mean and 4 and 2 tenths minutes greater than the mean. Since the mean is about 9, then travel times between 5 and 13 minutes are common. C. A different group of 10 sixth graders also recorded their travel times to school. Their mean travel time was also 9 minutes, but the MAD was about 7 minutes. What could the dot plot of this second data set be? Describe or draw how it might look. Data points on the second dot plot would be more spread out, with many more points farther from 9, and typical travel times would be between 2 and 16. The MAD is larger for the second data set. Number 3. In an archery competition, scores for each round are calculated by averaging the distance of three arrows from the center of the target. An archer has a mean distance of 1 and 6 tenths inches and a MAD distance of 1 and 3 tenths inches in the first round. In the second round, the archer's arrows are further from the center but are more consistent. What values for the mean and the MAD would fit this description for the second round? Explain your reasoning. The second round mean would be greater than the first round mean, or greater than 1 and 6 tenths. And the second round MAD would be less than the first round MAD, so it would have to be less than 1 and 3 tenths inches. An example of this would be the second round mean would be 1 and 8 tenths inches and the second round MAD could be just 1 inch. 
You can come up with your own numbers as long as the second round mean is greater than 1.6 and the second round MAD is less than 1.3. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 8 Lesson 11, Deviation from the Mean. Please consider subscribing and supporting for 7th grade lessons.